130,000 Scottish football fans brave a biting wind and icy sleet to watch Scotland's match of the century. The Hungarians, an almost legendary team, are making their first ever appearance at Hampden Park, and there isn't a single Scotsman who doesn't want to be there to cheer the home team in what is probably the toughest task they've ever tackled. The scene is set, and now the players. Here come the Hungarians. Puskas and Cunningham, the rival captains, swap pennants before getting down to the business of the toss-up. Mr. Horn, the Dutch referee, spins the coin, and down he comes in Scotland's favour. Cunningham chooses to play with the wind behind him. Hungary in the dark shirts kick off and right away start an attack. In the past five years, Hungary have been defeated only once. That was by Germany in the World Cup series. Naturally enough, they intend to keep that remarkable record. One of the visitors' star players, Hidikuti, gets it, but shoots straight at goalie Martin. A golden opportunity thrown away. Tommy Ring moves the ball away from danger. Adder carries on the good work. Scotland's first chance of a goal comes when Ring goes into action. Despite a tackle, his centre finds Johnston waiting to slam it into the net. But it's not a goal. Another forward was offside. Scotland keep up the pressure and worry the Hungarian defence. Hidikuti does a backflip and more by luck than judgment, it starts his team off on a rain. Foxes gives left back Haddock a spot of trouble. Then teammate Bosick shoots. Haddock's there but it bounces off him for Hungary's first goal. Scotland's goalie Martin is winded. This is his debut in Scottish colours. Not a bad knock and he's soon ready for more. Scotland are off again. Tommy Ring, playing brilliantly in this match, dribbles through Lawrence's legs, but the Hungarians have it. Cumming takes over and manages to get the ball away to the right wing. Johnston back kicks, but there's nothing doing. Now Hungary take up the running again. They're finding the Scotsman a lot more skillful than they had thought. Maybe the Hamden Roar's doing the trick. Hungry Sandor passes it on, but the Scots defence are proving a hard nut to crack. Puskas, the visitors' captain, passes to Hidikuti, and there's goal number two. <laughs> Despite the score, there's certainly not such a lot between the two teams, though the Hungarians never relax for a second. Hidikuti teams up with Sandor. Cunningham snaps it up, and now it's Scotland's turn to hit back. Keep an eye on number 11, Tommy Ring. He's playing a superb game. Hungary set out once more. Right winger Sandor receives. Haddock and Cumming challenge, and Cumming has it. Johnston collects and beats two defenders. On to Ring, who bangs it in for Scotland's first. <laughs> Fenivisi comes in for revenge, but Cunningham copes with the threat. Jimmy Wardour of Hearts takes it away. Hungary's Lantos puts a stop to that attack, and now Sandor has it. Three one is the score right up to half time, but that doesn't mean that Scotland are out of the picture yet. Not by a long shot. Scotland kick off to set the game in motion again. Then comes another scoring chance as Mackenzie takes a free kick. Over he goes to Johnston, who heads it home.
Only one down now, Scotland come back for the equaliser. Riley and Lauren clash, but Riley wins the day. Upfield toward Hall, who gives goalie Farago something of a shock. Farago's clearance spells trouble for Scotland. The Hungarians harass the defence. It's an anxious moment for the home team. The loose ball is snapped up by Mackenzie, who with a brilliant turn of speed, races for the Hungarian goal. Mackenzie has still got it. Now he prepares for a pass to Tommy Ring. Farago punches clear, and that puts the Hungarian machine to work down at Scotland's end. But their forwards just can't get it past the defenders. This Hungarian team seems but a shadow of the world-beating team of recent years. And there's Mackenzie again, working like a Trojan to keep Scotland out of trouble. And again it's a tense moment as the Hungarians come hammering at Scotland's door. A shot hits the crossbar and Scotland breathe again. Coxis receives and cracks it into the net to seal Scotland's fate with a 4-2 victory. But what a great fight. Scotsmen everywhere can be proud of their glorious fighting 11.